Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Worsu. Sometimes I get a bit stuck for ideas with these little cameo demonstrations and I've learned that the best way to get out of this empty-headed situation is to experiment. So, taking a couple of layers of sheer fabrics and the hoop that you all know by now, I'm sure, is not my favourite tool, I set out to see what transpired. The hoop was necessary for stability as the fabric is thin and flimsy. It's easy to see in the video how translucent the fabric is, as you can see the sewing machine showing through from underneath. My first step was to outline the collaged leaves that are sandwiched between the sheer fabrics. This secures everything in position and creates an even tension across the fabric. Then I began building up the background. Deciding to take a painterly approach, the needle is being used to build up effect with different colours rather than pattern or detail. I wanted this to look like a bunch of leaves and seed pods hanging in the bushland or forest. Freemotion zigzag is used almost exclusively throughout this sample. It's a wonderful stitch for filling areas quickly and creating the sketchy look that I find quite appealing in a work like this. The seed pods began with some organza shapes laid over the top of the collage. I like the way the background shows through a little here and there. Once again, several different thread colours are used to add shape and texture to the pods. Eucalypt pods often have a rough surface which I'm trying to emulate here. When all the surface design was finished, I decided this piece could be enhanced by layering it on top of coloured backing, which I've added to the hoop. An irregular edge is stitched and trimmed to finish off the piece. A piece like this could be used as applique on a larger work or cushion, or as a translucent hanging, or you could even turn it into a sculpted vessel of some sort. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials and videos.